All right, so here's a first introduction to Soundflower. Uh, this is a way of um, moving audio between programs within the same computer. So what we're going to do with this is record some radio into Pro Tools. Now the first step is to set up our virtual interface. Um, what we're going to need to do is going to go into our audio MIDI setup here. Um, if you haven't got this in your dock, then you'll find it in the applications folder um, in utilities, uh, audio MIDI setup there. Okay. So what this lets you do is build your own um, virtual device so you can combine um, Soundflower as a virtual device within a virtual interface within the machine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to use the built-in microphone and built-in output. Um, notice I'm on the Pro Tools aggregate I.O. here. Um, we can click this arrow to reveal what's inside of it. So we've got an input here, our built-in mic, our built-in output, um, and we're going to add in the Soundflower 2 channel. Okay, and what this does, this gives us an extra two inputs into Pro Tools and it gives us an extra two outputs. Alright, now the next stage is to go into our system and what we're going to do is set the system audio so any sound that comes out of the browser is going to come out on the Soundflower 2 channel. Alright, okay so if we play our radio program now we shouldn't hear anything. Okay, this is good. Let's go to Pro Tools and make a new session. So, Command N, and create a blank session, save it as SF1, and let's create a new audio track. And we're going to call it Radio. Okay, let's go to our mixer where we can set the I.O. So, what we're going to do, actually, I'm going to make this a stereo. So, let's just delete that and do it again. We're going to do a stereo one. So, let's do that. Now, if we go into our setup I.O., let's check our inputs and outputs. So, our inputs here, oh, before I do that, Let's just make sure I am on the correct playback engine. So yes, I've selected my Pro Tools aggregate I.O. So if that's not showing up, you need to change that. Um, we won't worry about this. And let's go to Setup I.O. And we're going to name our inputs. So if we look again here, we'll see that 1 and 2 are our built-in microphone, 3 and 4 are Soundflower. Okay, so let's change, this is 1 and 2 here, corresponds to this input, so we're going to change this to, come on, let's change you, okay, so double click on there, we're going to change that to built in, okay, and this one we're going to keep as Soundflower, okay, outputs, again, built in should be 1 and 2, 3 and 4 should be Soundflower, let's check that, that looks right to me, okay, that's all good. So this just helps us keep organized so we know we know what's what basically. So when we um, if I OK that and then just change this now to Soundflower and record enable. People who imagine there we go. There's our radio. Don't know what their own particular social or economic position is going to be within it. They don't know. So we can record some of this. So they are in a position of equality, equal ignorance. And he says people in this position would come up with two basic principles of justice. One, that each person should be given basic equal liberties. And two, that any inequalities of wealth or status must be attached to positions that are equally open to all. So who ultimately would be in charge of deciding what justice is? Ah, well... Okay, and there we go.
that's now recorded in. I can should have done this first really, but I can name the track now and also uh, name the clip. Okay, and there is our uh, successfully recorded audio.